Welcome back. A court in Iraq has sentenced British citizen and retired geologist Jim Fitton to 15 years in prison for smuggling artefacts out of the country. The verdict was handed down on Monday. A German citizen, Volker Waldmann, was found innocent of the same charges and subsequently released. But the judge found that Fitton had criminal intent, despite his lawyer's claim that he was unaware of the value of the items he picked up. Well, to talk more about that, I'm joined in the studio by our international affairs correspondent, Bacha Levintal. And uh, Bacha, and Mr. Fitton's family say that they are literally shell-shocked today. They've likened this to a death sentence. It's not just the family, but the court as well as his lawyer were actually left speechless as well after the verdict was brought down. This is really quite a case that has garnered international attention for the fact that we are talking about a man well into his 60s, a geologist, someone who claims to collect artifacts as a hobby, is now being sentenced to 15 years in prison for taking 12 artifacts that were found in his suitcase in the airport in Baghdad. Supposedly there was criminal intent to smuggle them out of the country. He claims that this was just a hobby and the fact that the lawyer is saying that it took so long for him to then end up calling the lawyer while in custody is just uh, kind of like on the line of where his innocence is at, that he didn't know, in a sense, how big this case was and how vital and, in a sense, how crazy or how strict the law was in Iraq in terms of the antiquities that he wasn't able to do this. The law in Iraq is very, very strict with this and could be actually given certain uh, laws could impel the death penalty but this is quite an amazing thing that they are saying that no it's actually only 15 years it seems like sort of a courtesy sentence as opposed to the death sentence which many said was highly unlikely but then again so was the 15 years right and a very different story for the german citizen who was arrested and charged with a very similar crime he happily for him was released right well both of them were there sort of on a tour they were there at artifacts and at relatively old sites uh, archaeological sites in the south of iraq Iraq, and that is where they picked up the artifacts. The German tourist, however, was only charged with carrying the items for the British citizen and not actually picking the items up from the archaeological site. And his lawyer seems to be quite relieved about this. He spoke earlier today, and this is what he had to say. We were expecting this decision to release our clients and drop the charge against him, as we're convinced that there's no criminal intent in what he did and that he didn't intentionally try to smuggle antiquities Me. out of Iraq. Well, I'm near. All right, so happily for him, he will be on his way home. Um, any chance of an appeal for Mr. Fitton? Very much so. His lawyers are saying that they will appeal this. This really is a very unfair sort of um, crime that he has committed, that they are saying it's just too long of a sentence. Again, he will be 80-something when he comes out. They really are having pity on the man, saying that this was just a geologist incident, someone who collects this as a hobby. And they are going to be appealing the case and obviously trying to make sure that if he does have to serve time, he can possibly do that in his home country of Britain as opposed to Iraq, since there is sort of a prisoner exchange agreement between the two countries. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Bacha, thank you very much. Bacha Levin, out there.